hi everyone in today's video i'll show you how to roast tilapia fish to perfection and make the perfect sauce with some roasted plantain this right here is the tilapia fish i have cleaned it and i'm going to mix up my spices i have ginger garlic basil parsley dill black pepper cayenne pepper i'll scoop in some bouillon powder and add all of the spice mix then i'm going to go in with some oil about two tablespoons and then i'll squeeze in the lemon juice if you're not using fresh lemon you can just scoop in a tablespoon of lemon juice don't worry i'll list all of the ingredients and their measurements in the description as i always do i'll give this a mix and then set it aside next i'm going to cut lines on the fish or score them whatever you know it as these lines i'm cutting will help the spice mix get into the fish and marinate properly we want to taste all of the spice goodness scoring it to also help the remaining liquid in the fish come out so after i score it i'll go ahead and pat it dry with a paper towel you want to pat every side of it and also inside of it next i will pour in gently the spice mix and rub it in you want to get into all of those lines remember as you are taking a bite you want to be tasting the goodness don't underestimate this simple spice mix guys it is totally delicious and the, the lemon juice just helps the fish soak it in properly don't forget the cavity and also the head if you are eating the head if you don't have the exact herbs and spices i used you can customize it to your liking or to what you have your fish will still taste delicious I'll cover this with a clink film and then let it rest in the fridge for about 30 minutes while I prepare the rest of the ingredients. If you don't have 30 minutes, you can go ahead and bake it straight away. But I will use the time to prep the rest of the ingredients and let it marinate. Next, we're going to blend all of these peppers. I have ginger, garlic, onion, habanero and peppers. I'll clean them and then blend them using the food processor please do not use a blender for this and if you are using a blender don't blend it smooth and do not add water so it can fry quickly it is nicely done this is the rough consistency we want i have my oil heating up nicely i'll go in with some chopped onions saute it for about two minutes please don't let this burn and then i'll go in with the chopped pepper mix if you are enjoying this video please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel because i'll be dropping amazing recipes like this one weekly i'll give this a mix and then season be sure to season this to your liking but i'm adding some smoked paprika curry thyme and white pepper i also added some bouillon powder i'll give this a mix and then let it cook down for about 10 minutes while stirring consistently please be sure to cook this on low to medium heat after 10 minutes guys this is what we have you can see it is perfectly done i'll give it a stir just so you see how beautiful it is do you know you can have this with fried yam potato or anything your heart desires not just the fish now i'm going to go in with the green onion this is the green parts of spring onions by the way i'll give it a mix and it is done guys super delicious don't forget to try it out with other recipes okay next we're going to roast the fish and at this point it is well marinated it has soaked up all of the deliciousness from the herbs and spices i'm using a roasting rack for this I'll just lightly oil the roasting rack. This is so the fish does not stick to it. I'll go in with the fish and I will be roasting the plantains in the same rack. So I'm just going to prepare my plantains. At this point, if you've been following me for a while, you know I always clean my plantains. 
before I cut it. Alright, so I'll mix together bouillon powder, cayenne pepper, some thyme and garlic powder. I'll also add some oil. Guys, you don't want to root the plantain like that. Let us season it so that it can taste delicious as well. I'm going to rub this on the plantains nicely on all parts and then transfer it to the roasting rack alongside the fish. If you're a fish lover like me, you might want to see how I made this peppered egg fish recipe. Click on the link above and you will totally love it. The fish is nice and done. I'll go ahead and roast this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes at 180. Whatever you do, please keep an eye on it. This will depend on the heat of your oven. Some ovens are hotter than the other, so keep an eye on it. The fish is ready and roasted to perfection. I'll go ahead and plate it up, serve it alongside the delicious sauce we made. I'll rub the rest of the pepper sauce just to make it absolutely beautiful and even more delicious. We have come to the end of this video, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support, guys. I really, really appreciate you. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, don't forget to hit the subscription button. Hit the notification bell because you will see more amazing recipes. I will see you in my next video. Bye.